Trinity number nine, Francis Manipal, is back. Although he's not back for long because one of the early solicits for uh, August was him not on Trinity. But I, he's back. For I us. think I'm going to trade on this one, knowing this now. Right, I okay. think it's gonna to read much better, knowing that there's gonna be fits and starts. I might just pick up certain issues, and then just collect it that way. I will say this might be my favorite issue in terms of plot so far this series. Oh well, yeah, because it gets to be different. And... Yeah, I, I like that they're still yeah. suffering from the effects of the previous arc, where they're like, "Oh, we experienced all that stuff," and you know, the three of them are in the, you know in that cave, and they're like, "Wait a minute, the engraving's still here," and we get this sense that the White Mercy kid may actually still exist in the real world. Uh, yeah, which is cool. Little seed that maybe he's, he's probably yeah, going to pay off later. It's the idea that maybe in some way it did actually alter their pasts as well. Mm, if that yeah. if that's there, maybe maybe. Um, so you've got that, but the actual plot is that something's happened on the Watchtower. Uh, the rest of the Justice League, other than Barry, because Barry's got super speed, so he's been kind of avoiding that. But some sort of alien entity has basically turned them all into monsters. Yeah. Except Cyborg. Well, you can separate take. them. Cy- Cyborg yeah. just got dis- dismantled because he's a cyborg, and he's like, oh, <laughs> the alien's like, oh, no, I can't do it with this. I feel like that's his job now. Is any time something attacks, he's just just assemble Cyborg. And he has to put all his resources and put himself back together. That's how you take him out. Yeah. But anyway, it was pretty cool. The the different things in the the watchtower, I thought was real cool, and how Barry saves Batman yeah. from having his his you know yeah, yeah, cause yeah, yeah. lungs cause, implode. Yeah, because the side of the, the the room they're in explodes and like they're going out into, right. out into space and like obviously Batman can't survive out there. I mean, I don't think. Right. I mean, even Wonder Woman and Superman need to get back in eventually, but they can. They're strong enough to hold their breath for a bit, whereas whereas yeah. Batman tries to do that, well, he's just going to... And that's what Barry says. Barry's yeah. like, oh, they can hold their breath, they're fine, I had to get you. Yeah. Yeah, you it's know? obviously, and you, you can see they are holding their breath, because they're communicating through hand signals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice little touch. Actually, one of my, uh, I thought was interesting pages, there's like a page that's like the blueprint, all, it's not actually a blueprint, it's really just a drawing of the, the watchtower in a blueprint-esque kind of colour scheme. Yeah. But it, it's, it's got that, but then it's got these little, like, sort of... Uh, Almost cybernetic, like uh, like connections to the panels, mm-hmm. showing you where they are and the, the watchtower as they're going through it. Yeah, it's a really cool breakdown, isn't it? Yeah, it's really, really simple but interesting. Uh, and then yeah, they find uh, the, the the lanterns. I've uh, got these monster heads and they're fighting them, so they've been taken over with something. Which, admittedly, you know, Justice League members being taken over by a monster is it kinda, happens. Yeah, it's 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 not exactly like fresh. But at least the the whole idea of oh, something happened in the Watchtower and the Trinity are like the ones left with Barry, so it's really more of a, a yeah. Quadrinity. I was gonna say uh, it's it's called Trinity, but most of this issue, or at least half it, is narrated from Barry's point of view. Yeah, uh, and then there's this other alien shows up at the end, uh, who's who's not actually the at least it doesn't seem like this is the alien that's controlling these other monster aliens. He's no. here because this alien thing is such a bad virus that it's going to spread to earth and the only way to take care of it is to just eradicate the entire place it, it's like Manipole watched alien vs predator 2 uh, it was like i'm gonna do that story it basically right? kind of is. It's, it's almost like the monsters yeah. the weapon of mass destruction and then this this yeah. guy's like oh shit i'm gonna i need to kill this but just you know bombing the entire planet done yeah so and this this alien is very kirby-esque too which i appreciate yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but the- Manipole flash i'll never be mad at you know, no, no. And, and this I, this issue made me realize I just want mana pull on Justice League. <laughs> that's that's fair. Uh, maybe we'll end up there. I no, I enjoyed this issue. I think plot wise it was the most because I mean I liked obviously the art and stuff and some of the character stuff in the first arc, but I feel like it, it went on a bit too long. I, I was feeling a little bit that the dream stuff was uh, maybe drying out a little bit long yeah. in that first one. Uh, here I like the it's a it's a popcorn story. I don't think there's much depth to it, but. Like no, it moves. Yeah. Like this issue moved very quick. Which is yeah, probably how definitely. Justice League should feel if we're not doing like a big event. Well, that's the thing. Like this, this feels kind of like what Hitch has been trying to do, except mm. just better in every way. Yeah. Yep. But it's the same style of story. No, oh, it is. Yeah. But it's not overcomplicated to shit like Hitch was making his stories. No, it looks bad too. Because that, that's why I just hard dropped Justice League, and that when I realized that sec. Well, always in the second. It was the third dark. When I realized that third dark was just going to be more of the same, I was like, oh, "No, I'm, I'm done." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But 
No, no, I thought it was funny. It was definitely, like, I'd put it in the lower tier of my books this week just because it is such popcorn. Even, don't get me wrong, the art's gorgeous. I'm not disputing that, but it's... Yeah, no. But that, that's where... Yeah, I'd... it didn't have that, that... I loved the very first issue of Trinity that was just them, like, meeting up at yeah. the dinner. Yeah. It was simple. And here's almost the opposite. It's them jumping straight away into something. So it's good that he's alternating the way he tells things. So... <laughs> I can appreciate that, but yeah, it's yeah. it might just be better read and trade. That's all. It may be. I I think is I think at this point now, since we know that issue whatever one's out in August is going to be someone else, and it said part one issue twelve. So there's at least going, there's at least going to be two issues because it said part one. So there's at least two without them. I imagine that means that there's always going to be a couple of issues between each arc. Yeah, I mean it takes time for him to do this. Yeah, because he's you doing both. Imagine. Yeah. Yeah, obviously the the stuff before wasn't actually planned because that was filling out as because of uh, his family issues. Okay, that's fair. That's but fair. Uh, the 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 bun issues were planned. But you know, before when we had uh, Clay Man fill in on the art. Yeah, he was still writing. Yeah, the, yeah he he'd came still in written the, the scripts and stuff. But uh, yeah, he he didn't have time to yeah. do the art because of uh, some at the very issues. least. Though the the uh, the the plot for the 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 whatever they have along the fill-in arc is going to be after this, does it does seem like something that will interest you, Connor, at the very least. I saw. Um, I'm hyped. Yeah. It's, I'm like, uh, yeah. I, I mean, okay, it's not Manipal. And that, yeah. that's, uh, it's so. Rob Williams who's writing it, but it's basically the, this trinity has to work with the magic trinity, that magic trinity being Zatanna, Deadman, and Constantine. Uh, so... I'm so in. Like, ev- every part of that's fantastic. And Dead, yeah, Deadman and Zatanna, I'm, we're, we're, they're with you, Matt. <laughs> Clayman's on art again, I believe, for that, and mm, he's—he's he's, uh, okay. He's not quite manable, but he's still pretty damn good. <laughs>